Hey guys, this is Inko from Wiseo Gollum, and this is the highlights video for War Number Sixty Six. A bit of a large break from the last update, sorry, the last highlights video, and that was Desta Sabat down at the bottom there. Uh, you can see we've had one, two, three, four, five sort of victories before this video. Um, so things are going well. Um, perhaps not the best of matchups. Um, matchmaking system sort of seems broken for a large part of those wars um, but you know you can but uh, try and uh, obviously on the side we're trying uh, we're setting up a range wars uh, which brings me nicely on to my next point we have joined the reddit alliance clan system um, which is the RAC um, as you guys will already know um, I will go into further details about what that brings us in a, in a separate video but uh, in that uh, the war previous to this one dark against dark side we had uh, some guests come and join us from the uh, from the Alliance and uh, it was really nice to have them so uh, and we had a good war not much in the way of competition but it was nice to have those guys see how other people attacked and uh, just friendly sort of interactions so it was good uh, and then we had this war uh, we had some of our Alliance friends from Reddit Vikings pop along or stay with us even uh, so I think Ollie we had three members uh, Ollie Biffy and Utilix um, join us uh, so that was nice, and um, as you can see, we were mismatched on our Town Hall 9s. We got some rushed Town Hall 10s, uh, and obviously with those Infernos causing a bit of a problem. Uh, so good job getting two stars, and uh, yeah, we won the uh, sort of war by two, sorry, 10 points difference, and uh, a massive difference in the, or 10, 10 difference in the three-star attacks. Right, so but let's get on, let's crack on with some of these uh, War replays, uh, Limjon taking on their 18. I want to highlight, this isn't a highlight as in a highlight of a great attack. I just wanted to sort of talk through a couple of points that I found uh, when you're looking at this. Just so, uh, I know Limjon's sort of new to hogs, but uh, just a couple of points I think that are worth pointing out. If I can get the, hang on, if I can get the tool up, which I can't. There we go, got a drawing tool. So, let's have a look at this. So, you, you kind of come into scouting this base uh, and you are looking at uh, where the double giant bomb spots are and you were going to have to say there's going to be a double giant bomb there, double giant bomb there, possibly, and possibly there. Uh, so, what you need to do is actually look at this base and think how am I going to, uh, you know, negate these double giant bombs or set them off or trigger them so they don't um, don't sort of take out the entire hogs so a couple of ways you can do it you can come in with golems and a kill squad and that will sort of you can path them to those so they uh, walk over them and detonate them uh, this is obviously on a first attack on second attack you'll, you'll have a bit more information about where they possibly could be uh, with a town hall 8 you can only have three giant bombs so that's only one double giant bomb location uh, and then um, a single giant bomb elsewhere. Um, so uh, you can send your uh, hogs in surgically, so a small group of hogs will run over the giant bomb and detonate it, or as I say, kill squad, or try and path your hogs around it. Um, I would always sort of favor um, trying to detonate it in some fashion, just purely because you never know uh, on the cleanup if they're gonna run across it when the at the end of when all the defences are down and they, you know, they, your sort of group runs across them and detonates it and that's, you know, you're going to struggle for cleanup. So it's always safer to sort of um, detonate it with a small group of hogs or a kill squad. Um, but you'll see from this attack, I, when I first saw this replay, I thought it must have been a, must have been a, a sort of uh, a second attack, but it's not. This is a first attack. Uh, let me just clear this out of the way and then show you what happens here. This uh, Limjun, I'm going to be honest, mate. It's a, you got very, very lucky not to um, sort of come a cropper. Because if if your if the double giant bomb was in this first uh, section against the AD and the cannon, your hogs would have been toasted. But so let's walk through it. So he drops the single hog, gets the lure, puts the double poison down for the dragon and the balloon. Uh, comes in with the hog raid at a two finger drop, but you'll see they converge just before the double giant bomb and then was very very lucky that the 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 Tesla placement on this um, base was terrible. I um, mean, you know, I don't know why you would put a, a defense there because you're pulling pulling the hogs away You're passing them away from your double giant bomb set um, But you'll see that in a second. Sorry, I'll speed this up Okay, so two finger drop 
coming in on the south anytime now oh there we go okay so two finger drop Uh, the Tesla now sort of pulling these guys away. So the hogs split a little bit, Wizard Tower, then come back into Tesla. Now, all the hogs are there. They're going to run over this di double giant bomb, but there wasn't a double giant bomb, luckily. Um, and then you'll see this Tesla pops up here. So they then avoid... They don't trip the gi double giant bomb as they should do. So the one, gi one bomb gets tripped, and then uh, two hogs just trip the second giant bomb. So all in all, incredibly lucky. I mean, that is passing around a double giant bomb, really. Um, I mean, them him having that Tesla pop up, rather rather silly to do that there. Um, but yeah, like I say, you need to take into account these double giant bomb spaces um, and, and sort of really sort of think about if the bombs are there, if the bombs are here, uh, or how can I tell if they're here or there? Do I use a kill squad? You gotta you gotta do your scouting of a base properly. Um, and it was just a case of pure luck, I believe, on this one. Um, they've got the three stars, but uh, something to bear in mind guys who are new to hogs really really scout the base ask the guys at group me for an opinion uh, And there you go. That's that's where the other sort of single bomb uh, But got away with it because it was a single bomb and there was no sort of uh, uh, Splash damage defense to take out those hogs at the end so speeding that up Clean up got the three stars, but again things to be sort of um, learn from that and uh, hopefully the next time you look at a base you'll look at it with a with a different set of eyes so to speak so next one on the cards is GKB taking on their number 13 so GKB coming in uh, with a shattered goho, goho on this base um, I can see why he's done it so he's opened up the core with a quad quake um, yeah you can see why he's sort of opted for a kill squad here because the single bomb single bomb at that cannon could be potentially uh, so you can clear that potentially a single bomb between the um, the sort of uh, I guess it would be silly because the archer tower and the wizard tower but the the big sort of spaces where you probably could see double giant bombs are between the um, sweeper and the ADs uh, and I guess he just wanted to get in there and sort of Get something, get some troops running over it, just to ca in case there is a death, um, there is a double giant one before he sends his hogs in. So you can see why he's opted for the um, for the uh, the goho, uh, and you can also see why he's opted for two golems because he wants to get as far into that core as possible. And obviously, one golem taking hits from so many uh, sort of defenses might not get it, and then your BK will start to take uh, take hits, uh, and then it could all end tragically and no no sort of double giant bombs being um, found but so gets the break in the wall took the obviously using the quad quake takes the um, CC down with a um, wizard and barb distraction triggers one giant bomb at there at that storage and then the, the golems are moving nicely into the center got enough of a funnel with his wizards uh, so the BK isn't going off to the side and he's going straight into that storage and then onto the the air sweeper. So good funneling there. Um, so now we know that there isn't a double giant, giant bomb there. It's just a Tesla, but job done. And then hopefully he gets a trip on a giant bomb if there's one there on the left-hand side. But brings his hogs in now. Nice uh, pack, not surgical really. Um, so enough weight in the pack to do some damage rather than spreading them too thinly which is nice uh, gets a good heal down and now you see there was another giant bomb on the outer ring but he, he had the heal down already so uh, as soon as they took a hit they got healed right back up and there was no real splash damage defences to cause too many problems and you still got a golem there going along so might have actually even done it no, I think you need. I think he needed two golems. So, had this been a, had this been a second attack, I'm pretty certain um, GKB wouldn't have used two golems or a golem at all because I think you could have probably triggered pre-triggered those GB spots uh, with single hogs on the outside, um, or at least a couple of like 
a few hogs. But as it was a first attack, you could definitely see the mindset of going in there with a shattered goho. So good three stars. So moving up to our Town Hall 9s, next up is Doc Nelson uh, taking on their number 4. Doc uh, coming in to Town Hall 9 uh, not so long ago. Uh, he was actually, um, he's actually an 8.5 but he's he's definitely sort of found his his calling I think. Doing some really nice uh, Town Hall 9 attacks uh, and I'm sure he'll be bumping up and building those uh, expos anytime now. Uh, so something to look forward to. Uh, this base very inviting for a kill squad coming in from the south, and I think that's exactly what he opts for. Uh, he, so he's, he, he, the composition is really uh, set up for it, so uh, go Valo. So two golems and then bringing in a CC Valkyries plus uh, some additional Valks. Um, luring and killing the um, CC with his kill squad. Drops a rage there. Uh, these wizards under rage have, yeah, destroyed that dragon pretty quickly. Archer Queen on the enemy BK. BK just took out the uh, enemy A. Archer Queen, nice and early getting these loons in. So that top side, totally defenseless uh, against air. Kill squad doing nice work. Loads and loads of wizards. Valkyries in there. Now locking on, Expos are down, these Wizards are going to be taking the AD down, but I don't think it was required, uh, I think those Balloons did what they were intended to do. Both of the abilities on the Royals are available. And I'll speed it up a little bit, um, Archer Queen taking out those lowest defences and it's just clean up. So nicely worked attack. You know... Two, two sort of phases of that, kill squad, and then the balloons to take out that top portion. So good job. Next up is Goat on 5. So Goat tearing up as well uh, recently. Uh, I know he's made the jump now. He's got his exposed building. Uh, I think he's... His uh, heroes are 15-15, so really to get those uh, get into Town Hall 9, I think that's a good thing. So about this attack, so Lil's the uh, CC, and he's doing a double poison. Uh, so still doing it, he's got a quad quake, because you can see in this base you've got uh, a couple of spots where you can find uh, double giant bombs. So with his uh, main back end sort of troops being hogs, you need to get rid of those. Uh, you need to get rid of the Archer Queen first and foremost, and then... Uh, uh, destroy those, um, uh, detonate those double giant bomb possibilities. So, sort of army comp com composition is a go vaho. So only got the two heals, uh, no jump spell, so you're going to be relying on the might and muscle of the giants to punch through this wall. So created a nice wide funnel there, um, Giants punched the hole, and Valkyries then deployed the Valkyries there, going straight into the core of the base. Uh, BK following, Archer Queen sort of going around on this left hand side, uh, and now starts to drop the hogs. Surgical hog deployment, um, Wizard Tower Cannon completely sort of tied up with the internal, side, uh, internal kill squad. So working his way, puts a large group of hogs down at the bottom, and there you see that his BK just detonate the double giant bomb set. So that is one less problem to worry about, and then the hogs, uh, loads of hogs left for what's uh, what defences are left. And uh, yeah, this is not, even with that Wiz Tower doing splash damage, um, it's not going to take out that many hogs. So you still got a couple of Valkyries left, got the Archer Queen up, got the Golem mulling around the outside. Oh, a bit nervy. I would have been pretty nervous with that uh, Wizard Tower doing splash damage on that last lot of hogs, but uh, because he came in with a Quad Quake and Double Poison, he only left himself two heals, so a bit of a nervy time, but as you can see, there's enough hogs left over. Still 
still got the Archer Queen, still got the Valkyries. Cleanup is going to be over shortly, and nice attack. So, ticked all the boxes really. Um, Archer Queen down, double giant bomb set, detonated, uh, and then Hogs t coming in. So, nice attack. So, next one on the cards is the last one, and it's actually um, Goat again. Um, so, again, base has not uh, got the highest level of uh, sort of uh, uh, defense level, but still, just the thinking behind some of these attacks are quite nice, so I like to show them. Um, so, uses minions to create a funnel there, or well, just clear trash buildings, really. Um, uh, and he's using a, a queen walk. To slowly take out the north side of the base, as you'll see, I think the end goal here is to actually get in there, take out the uh, take out the uh, some air defence, and take out uh, some royals. Well, he's actually used he used those minions to uh, create a funnel, so the queen doesn't walk uh, to funnel the queen in. So got the poison down. Use the queen's ability to stop uh, too much damage coming from the from the dragon uh, and now that queen has redirected and has gone inside which is exactly where you want her uh, gets the jump spell some more minions just to sort of funnel that queen even more into the core so she doesn't go walkabouts around the uh, outside so smart stuff make sure the next closest building is internal um, and now locking on air sweeper gone Gonna drop the drops the rage so rage on the healers rage on the AQ. Um, that's one air defense down. Arch queen down. Second air defense down. BK is gonna be going down pretty shortly. So two air defense back up. So one lava hound on each air defense, and then just spammed in the balloons. Still got some troops for clean up in the bag. Drops the minions, drops the haste to get the queens, uh, sorry, the balloons into the core. And then uh, last air defense, just about to go down. So many loons left over. And then, uh, yeah, done really. Um, that are, that wizard tower is not going to do too much damage against those balloons because there's just so many of them. And uh, that is clean up. So good, I mean well thought out, Arch Queen still up, full health, BK still up, then uses the ability, loads of troops left over, and uh, good job on the three stars. So that's it guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys take care, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.